hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel it's the snm forever if you're a new subscriber oh if you're a returning subscriber oh, so oh guys sorry every day it has to be something new so today he has hiccups <laughs> but i think I'm, I'm from feeding him so everything will be okay so what are we doing on today's video uh cooking tilapia yeah so he's going to be tasting tilapia for the first time and thanks to my mom for this recipe so hopefully you're going to enjoy this tilapia mm, yeah so let us begin let me give you my mom's recipe on how she cooks tilapia for us so sit back relax and enjoy and if you like it you can try it mm. yeah so see you as we cook the tilapia enjoy <laughs> okay so guys these are the ingredients and this is the tilapia i got it from Asi an asian shop yeah yeah from an Asian shop, so this is the tilapia. I need to wash it and cut it into three because we are three people. It's going to be enough, I know. So this is g this is ginger, ginger, garlic, uh, onion, paprika, tomatoes. I'll add another one, three tomatoes, coconut milk. This is the real deal in this recipe, and then curry powder. So these are the only ingredients that I'm going to put. So Without wasting your time, let us go and wash the fish. You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I already washed the fish as you've seen so i'm going to cut it into three pieces tell me what i'm thinking i fell in love with the way we are and the way we lose it there's something different about us and the reason why we stay stay we fly around like paper planes they so now we are going to marinate our fish and put it in the fridge for 20 minutes so the ingredients is going to be because i don't have lemon i'm going to use the lemon juice and uh, powdered garlic and some salt and some black pepper and last but not least some uh, olive oil so let's begin to marinate the fish going to measure with a small spoon yeah. I put two of these and then just a small pinch of salt not too much and then paprika paprika and then lemon juice I don't have the lemon so I'll just put the lemon juice Mix them together. There's something different about the way we and now you apply it on your fish. Save 
and now you put them back there. Now there's something's off the way you look and how you pause when you talk. I think it's then you cover them with a the foil and put them in the fridge for 20 to 30 minutes. So let's put it in the fridge. As your fish is marinating in the fridge, you're going to cut the ingredients. And yeah, continue with the recipe, cutting the ingredients as you wait for the fish to marinate itself for 20 to 30 minutes. After it's marinated, we're going to deep fry it in the oil and then I'm going to show you how you're going to continue from here. So, yeah, so let's cut the ingredients. So Mr. Man came by and gave me a hand because the baby was getting a bit cranky. So he helped me cut the ingredients. So we're going to cut the ingredients as we wait for the fish to marinate. And yeah, hopefully guys, you're still following the recipe. And comment down in the comment section and tell me if you've tried the recipe. What do you think of the recipe and how you do your fish, your tilapia. So this is how I do mine. And this recipe is specifically uh, given to me by my mom and yeah so let's enjoy the video and see you on the next voiceover i try to figure out who i am not sure what i'm doing here and the days don't work out the way i thought they would and before you there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in Until I met you I was feeling lost But you're the one who can make it go away All you have to do is look at me Sometimes I, I can't breathe But it feels like you're right about now i'm checking to see if the oil has really really like cooked so to check if it has cooked you put a wooden spoon inside and if the the wooden spoon bubbles up just know that the oil has cooked so in a few minutes my oil will be ready and i will remove the wooden spoon so i will just start by putting my fish which i have removed from the refrigerator which stayed for max 30 minutes so i'm going to deep fry it in the oil and then we are going to continue from there But it's all I have You know we could run to a place where we belong But I need you there with me to go on Sometimes I every 10 minutes make sure you turn over your fish keep on checking on your fish so that it doesn't burn because uh, as you know the heat is a bit higher on the higher side so yeah i keep on checking my fish to make sure that it doesn't burn and so that to make sure it cooks on both sides and also it cooks inside 
and also not to make sure that the fish does not absorb too much oil so that's why i keep on checking it tossing and turning it round and round and if you hear some voice just know that i'm here trying to make the guy sleep and yeah this is a voice over that i am doing so yeah so guys this is the final result of my fish i have already like done the first part so the next part is going to be simple and easy and yeah stay tuned for it so first things first we're going to heat up our oil and then put in our onions remember that our ingredients that i showed that i was cutting so the first thing is going to be the onions make sure you stir them until they turn golden brown or whichever color you prefer because for me i don't like them that golden brown and then the next thing after your onions have turned the way you want them to turn you're definitely going to put ginger and garlic uh together and then you're going to stir them until now the whole thing turns into golden brown so there is the ginger and garlic stir it and make sure your heat is on medium and then from there we are going to add in some tomatoes and paprika and then we are going to cover it to make sure that the tomatoes are well cooked and the paprika is also well cooked but before we cover it we're going to put curry powder and we're going to put in a pinch of salt not too much salt but just a pinch of salt and then now here we're going to cover it for the tomatoes to cook and then from there we are going to uh, see on the next step so cover up and then wait for the next result so a few moments later we open up and the tomatoes are cooked let's stir it a bit to see that the tomatoes are well cooked and yeah after the tomatoes are well cooked and they are cooked to your satisfaction you're going to add in your coconut cream always remember that the coconut cream is the key so put in the coconut cream and then after the coconut cream you put in your fish and leave it to simmer for as long as possible so that they for like 10 to 15 minutes or even 20 to leave the coconut cream to um, mix up together with the fish so after that we're going to add in our fish and after our fish then cover it to simmer up for a few for 15 to 20 minutes and then your food will be ready to be served with some ugali with some rice with some noodles whichever you want to eat with but make sure you also cover the fish with this the sauce so that the fish can look well so this is the outcome of my fish and yeah thank you guys for staying tuned and without any further ado i'm going to be seeing you on the next video and yeah see you i hope you enjoyed the recipe